All right, so we just made our way into this funeral home. I've been keeping my eye on it for a couple years now. It's kind of far from where I live, so I couldn't keep a close eye on it like I wanted to. But I've come a few times, and it's always locked down. Finally got it today, and I'm very happy I did because it's a good one. Let's check it out. It's got everything, everything left. Embalming room, caskets, chapel, death records. Absolutely amazing. The funeral home was shut down by the state for both incompetency and fraud. They left just about everything behind as if they just walked out of the place, locked the doors, and never returned, which are always great locations to explore. This is actually where we got in from, right here. When you walk in, it doesn't look like much. So you can see that this is kind of like a makeshift chapel, but this was not the main chapel. This was kind of like a side chapel. The main chapel is where it's at, and it's over here. Check it out. Casket sitting right there. Casket holder right there. Even the podium. It's pretty cool. See the casket wheeler right here. Lights on each side. And there's the podium there. It's like a tannish puke color casket. So beautiful. <laughs> nice and smooth. Pretty clean. Pretty clean on the interior as well. It's a little bit colored and faded. But overall, it's a pretty decent casket and probably worth a few thousand. Kind of like a modern chapel. The funeral home itself is very old, definitely built in the, if not the early 1900s, maybe even the 1800s. Super historic place too. And whoever owned and operated the funeral home most likely lived here because there's housing upstairs. This is another uh, visitation room here. Some floral arrangements and an organ. And it faces the chapel. So probably whoever played the organ sat here. This little microphone. Played the music for the uh, loved ones and the family and stuff. All sorts of like memorabilia and stuff. Or the though, then you go from this room over here. As we make our way toward the main entrance, there's this little seating area and waiting area, I guess. Cool fireplace and matching chairs on each side. So you can see that it's pretty uh, historical. The house itself, the funeral home itself. Pretty cool though. There's painting over there. Chandelier even. This is like coat rack and stuff here for the funerals. And look at that fireplace. Look at the details on that fireplace. Just an incredible fireplace here. And then through here was that room we were just in. And then here's the main entrance. You can see some decay coming through here. You can see the ceilings caving in right there. Wallpaper. Floral wallpaper, even the little desk there with the vase on it. Some fake plants and some real plants that are dead, of course. But it's pretty nice. Even this hutch here is loaded with... Uh, Antiques and stuff, see? 
pretty cool. I left a lot of stuff in here, which is crazy. This floor here is just total buckled. You just, it's so messed up. You can see it's just horrible. Look at that. I don't even know if you can see it that well. <laughs> you gotta watch your step in here. So, this is like an office area from when you first come in. You probably make arrangements. So, you got a sick statue. Look at the cobwebs on it. Of like a dude blowing a horn. Look at those cobwebs, too. Super cool. That's original too. I mean, just look at the detail of the staircase itself. Quite impressive going all the way up to nice woodwork. Pretty sweet. Gotta love this stairway for sure. Especially that statue. And then over here, you have another chapel room. Visitation room type. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, and it doesn't have the seats like the other one. But it's got like these comfy armchairs, some end tables. And an organ. There's an organ right there. But the best part is that baby casket. Look at that. Not too bad in shape. Pretty clean. The interior anyway. The outside of it or exterior of the casket is pretty dirty. Cobwebs on it. You can see that. Baby caskets are always creepy for sure. Caskets in general, but baby caskets for real. You can tell this funeral home was a beautiful funeral home at one time. Look at the furniture in here. Even around the door frame. Statues and porcelain plates and everything. Look at that. You see the couches and the chairs and the tables are all still in here. Even the curtains. Look at that. Look like funeral home curtains too. I get a pan from back here. So you can see how it's all set up kind of. Place is confusing because every room connects to the other rooms. So that's why you see me like walk into a one room and then through another room and then back into the same room. <laughs> but if we go this way, through here, this is like a dining room area. Vaults and urns and stuff. And for sale, so in loving memory of, and it's got little you know, champagne glasses on each side it's for some alcoholic or something, I don't know. Dummy print stuff for necklaces. Here's like an urn, a marble urn here. Pretty nice. Our vault. Nice chandelier. It's even a nice dining room table and chairs. Lots of paperwork all over the tables. All sorts of weird statues and sculptures and stuff. You got more urns over here. Another one there. And you got a bunch of vaults over here. 
I guess these are mostly just vaults that you can purchase and put your uh, cremated remains or your loved one's cremated remains in it and your name goes on top or on the side and all that. It's a bit cheaper than a casket, but it's also for people that were cremated. Pretty cool, I still have them all on display. It's a lot of them too, a lot of options to choose from. Pretty cool. There's lots and lots of stuff left in here. Record of funeral, 2004. And then it's got people's obituaries in there and stuff. I can't show you because it'll give it away. Obituaries over there too, see? They have like family photos on the <laughs> desk still. But then you have some death certificates. See? So this death certificate here that you see was actually a drug overdose. Inadvertent overdose of controlled drug. Wow, so he OD'd. This is what the office looks like. The office with all the ledgers and records. You can see it's just a mess. And it's flooding out and water damage everywhere. And it's leaking from the ceiling up there and everywhere. So, but it's cool that they still have all those records over there of everything. Cremated remains. Jacob's cremated remains, maybe. 1995. These are actual, real, cremated remains. If we make our way from Jacob in the chapel over here, now we're gonna make our way into the embalming room. Funeral, 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 funeral. For the cars, you know? Pretty cool. Sirens. For the motorcade. No. <laughs> Funeral procession. Casket holders and movers and wheelers. Pretty cool. There's another gurney in the other room over here. This is the actual embalming room. There's a body left. Look at that. There's the other gurney. And then look at the embalming room. What a gem it is. One table, table one, porcelain two, old school, but you gotta love that. You got the neck restraint, more neck restraints over here, black one, and an old metal one. Everything is labeled to instruments, cosmetic and hair products. I mean, just amazing. And you have it in the drawer still. Instruments. Look at that. Not every day you see all that now. Cosmetics, cosmetics. Eye caps, formers, buttons, needles, and they're all there. Eye caps, that's creepy. More tools in there. Gross. I know what that is. Gotta love that body lift. They're just super cool to me. And creepy, of course. Creepy like the gurney with bodily fluid still on it. Love that. Check this table out. Here's the second table. I 
That's an old gurney. Nice one too, stainless steel. Even comes with bodily fluids on it. But look at the old porcelain slabs. Double slabs on wheels. Another neck restraint there. This one looks like it's been used too. It's got some debris on it. If that is debris, it could be human remains for all I know. Let's get another look at this table. Super sick. And of course the tools, the sink, and the embalming fluid and the jaundice fluid and the finishing powder and the artery fluids. You guys know I love my funeral homes, especially when they have all the product and equipment. Razors and trimmers and clippers and scissors, hemostats, tweezers. I mean, the scalpels, all sorts of different things. Looks like a needle. It's amazing. And then look at the uh, embalming machine. Old school embalming machine with fluid still in it. Look at that old embalming machine. I love embalming machines, especially when they're old school like that. And when they still have fluids in it. Look at this. More and more embalming fluid and artery fluid. Look at that. Just incredible that it's all still here inside these cupboards. Try a sand powder factor. Formaldehyde gel right there. Wow, that's amazing. Firming cavity fluids. Here's some artery fluid. Here's some more artery fluid. And here's some embalming artery chemical. Embalming fluid. Some more uh, embalming fluid up there. And more artery fluid here. I'm not sure, formaldehyde stuff. Jesus, just loaded. And even up here you have stuff. Enigma compound, preserved powder and hardening compound. Wild, 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 wild. Every one of these cabinets actually has stuff. So look at embalming accessories. See that? So you open it up. Lo and behold, embalming accessories. All sorts of stuff. All sorts of tools and soaps. Mouth formers. Eye caps and skull clamps. What? Skull clamps. Doesn't really seem like there's any in there though. Darn. More products over here. It's tapes, tissue builders, and stuff like that. There's some of that in there. See? And then there's some old school. No idea what any of that stuff is. Tints, I guess. Look at that though. Everything in these cabinets, I mean. Danger formaldehyde. <laughs> Even these ones over here have stuff like sheets for the gurneys and stuff and sheets for the bodies, body bags. Just amazing that all this stuff is still in here. Super cool, huh? You just don't see that too often. Look at that. Every single cabinet. these other chemicals some germicide and more of the embalming fluids and some looks like some uh, dry gel drying gel and over here look at all this 
the hair stuff for people's hair. Some strings and yarn, curlers and straighteners and uh, a blow dryer. Look at that. So you could just do their hair right here on the spot. And another one. Instruments. Cosmetic and hair products again. And this, of course, look at all the brushes for makeup and paints and stuff. More of the eye caps and formers and buttons and stuff. Powders, facial powders and makeup. Some wax stuff, nail polish, look at all the nail polish. Lipstick, look at all the lipstick. It's amazing that it's all still in here and it's all categorized and all labeled. Look at those creepy eye caps, you gotta love those. And the needles. Just amazing. And the styrofoam heads. Some more um, makeup products and stuff. Blush and nail polish and lipstick and mascara. Lip wax. Face, facial powder right there. Wild. That is a pretty cool embalming area. It's a pretty great embalming room, period. With all this stuff left in here like this. I mean, this is just stuff you don't see every day. Just incredible. You walk through here. Remember, this is where the chapel is. I'm actually going to show you upstairs. Because upstairs is where the funeral home owner would have lived. And it's nothing special, but I like to show you guys everything. Especially when I got cool chandeliers like that. <laughs> yeah, like cards and stuff in here. You can tell it's pretty trashed. See? It's a lot of crap in here. Old grandfather clock. Some de more death records and stuff. Even a kitchen up here. It's cool though, because look at vintage style gotta love the old uh vintage stove here sick i've actually never seen one like that look at that it opens up like suicide door style that's pretty darn cool and then like the countertops are the same color look at the old range Old microwave and coffee maker. Anyways, over here. Back through here. Nice mural on the wall there of some beautiful landscape. Nice bridge over the waters. Bathroom. So retro and old school. You gotta love that. And then over here, just a bedroom with the ironing board. There's a bed in this room here and an old TV.
I mean, it's nothing amazing up here, but still cool. Still cool to see. And then this area over here. You can tell this is where the uh, stairway was with the statue, with the guy blowing the horn right down there. So you can see from up here, there's a nice hutch there. Chandelier, the chimes, <laughs> that's really cool. The old school curtains. Look at this piece though. That's a nice piece of furniture. And then the cool office up here is this on here. Look at this. There's even stained glass on the on the window, see? Between the bookshelves. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Just so much stuff. Little parrot, pet parrot, still hanging. All this knickknack stuff, the wallpaper's all peeling. Big old sailboat here. Some sea life. Nice old fireplace. Look at that brass around the fireplace. Got some uh, ducks on each side or swans. And then just more knickknacks, brass knickknacks and stuff. Look at that. All those old school books. An old lantern. That cat's cool. Love my daddy. Sad. There's an old school picture. It's loaded. Place is loaded. Look at that. I mean, this place, you just do not see places this intact and this loaded. Especially a funeral home. Dallas Institute of Mortuary Science. I can't show his name, because he'll give it away. But then you make your way back out here, and there's the stairway again. So you make your way down. This is where we first came in at. If you make your way downstairs right away when you first come in, it's pretty dark down here. As you can see, this was actually where they stored the caskets. Because look at all the casket holders down here. And here and here. A bunch of them down here. They moved all the caskets except for the ones upstairs. And then they left one down here. Right there. Old woody. Old wooden one. So this is the wooden casket that's down in the basement. It's the only casket that they left down in the basement. They left a few, a couple upstairs, but this is the only one that's left downstairs. Been down here a while. Look at all the cobwebs and dust on it. And it's a, like a wood greenish one. It's pretty cool though. Let's see if anything's in it. Ugh, can't even open that fucker. Old school wooden casket. All by its lonesome. Pretty cool though to see that. Nothing else down here though. It really seemed that this place had it all. And that is the exact reason why this abandoned funeral home is one of the very best that we have ever explored. Thank you so much for checking this video out of the abandoned funeral home. We truly appreciate your support.
And don't forget, please subscribe to Abandoned Central to get all of the newest content. Thanks again, everyone.